No, give me this document. It was good making business with you, Mr. Capanna. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the Month of Thrills. Today on the agenda is red tape. That's right, because I am a demon in hell, and I want to take on the Doom Slayer. But first, I have to check out my forms. Uh, that's great. As I get out of the elevator, a voice says, wait in line. That's great. Excuse me, can I take cuts? Lady? Oh, they don't have a collision box. I don't think this line's gonna go anywhere. Can I just cut? I can hear them. Oh, this line is definitely not going anywhere. Okay, um, uh... Hell Inc., you are here. Warehouse... Um, uh... Something... I can't read any of that. Cake Eater. Uh, Surgeon? Or... Something Room? I can't even read this. Hell Inc., let's see what happens if I just shove right through. Hello? Click on something and press E to interact. Literally, these people aren't even alive. Hello, um, so I need a signature in this document here. Who do you need to sign this? Well, the devil. So, you know you can't just get a signature from the devil, right? Um, no? I see, so first you have to get permission from the manager, and how can I get it? First of all, you need a permit, you can get it with Carl, he's the head of the permits office on the second floor. Can I just go there and talk to him? Yeah, I take this coin and say Nancy sent you. Ah, oh, thanks. You'll also need my stamp on your document. Nice. That's all. Now go and don't come back until you have the manager's signature. Well, good thing these people just don't seem to care. In fact, I shoved right through them. They're like ghosts. Then again, this is hell. Maybe they're evil spirits or something. I do not know. I don't know how this works. Okay, second floor. I, well, I could always get all the way to the sixth floor, but that requires a key, apparently. Because, you know, 6-6. Six, six. Blank. Hello. I see you have a coin. You can hand it to me now. How can I help you? Hey, you're Carl, right? So I need to get this document signed by the devil. And Nancy and the secretary told me that first I've got to see the manager. Okay, the manager is kind of hard to reach. I suppose I can prepare a permit that allows you to go see him. That'd be great. But even with the permit, you would also need a worker badge. And honestly, I'm a little lazy right now. Whoa, what do you mean? I don't know, I had to do a lot of stuff here, like fill the copy machine with paper. If you did that for me, maybe I could work on that permit for you. It doesn't seem too, too difficult, but sure, why not? Okay, when you do that, come talk to me. Okay, then. I guess I'll do your job for you. Prick. And I like, um, donuts. His donuts look good, though. Heh, well then. Someone's, uh, playing solitaire. She's working. On her solitaire game. Lol. He's working. On, uh, something. <laughs> He's working on this game. Beautiful, it's meta. He's a game dev. He's working on this very game. Okay, I can't use that to sprint. I, I want to use that to sprint. That's my inclination, but it's, um, not gonna work. Excellent. Let's grab this paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? Are you the manager? Uh, okay. I guess I just gotta take it to these two. Hey, man. I'm on my time off. Okay, buddy. Don't worry about me. Oh, he has no lower half. It's like that girl in Ocarina of or Majora's Mask or whatever. I know that in the 3DS version she was given a lower half, but uh, N64 original? Nope. Yeah, I don't have legs. What are you looking at? Oh. You even realized that. Awesome. Oh. I see. There's the third one. Both paper and the paper uh, copier. Okay, they're all filled. 
Thanks a lot, friend. I think now I must sign that paper of yours. Sweet. Now, to get that worker badge I told you about, it's, it's no easy job. What do you mean? We can't just give our badges to you since we're working right now. There could be a random inspection any moment if we get caught without our badges. We might get sent to the eternal suffering pits, or worse, get fired. Oh, that looks bad. Yeah, but I just thought of something. Some days ago, Larry, our intern, went to the maintenance floor and he kind of never came back. Well, what do you think happened? I don't know, I think he's sleeping. Anyway, he's not officially working, so maybe you could borrow his badge. That sounds like a great idea, but what floor is maintenance? The third, right below this one. That's convenient. I know. We all go take a nap there every now and then. And there's no random inspection down there? I don't think so. That floor has been ironically in maintenance for ages. Nice. I'm gonna go there now. Okie dokie, when... If you get that badge, go to the fourth floor documentation and show them your badge plus my signature. Then they'll open a protocol for you to talk to the manager. Nice. Get the donuts, man. He's watching something, I don't know. Free, uh, a froggy. Hey, buddy. Can I talk to you now? Hey, man. I'm on my time off. You can't talk? I guess the company isn't paying you enough to talk to me. Quick. Okay, I need to go to three. I could go out of order, but, um... This is a bureaucracy. We are obsessed with doing everything in order. Although, as slowly as possible. Yep, you are here. Something office. I can't read that. Falling hazard. Work at a safe distance. Use safety belt. Construction area authorized personnel only. Oh, that's wonderful. So this is how you gotta go around here. Wonderful. Oh, jeez. That was a close one. Holy crap. Damn. Lucky break. Oh, jeez. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, I see. Smile. You're being videotaped. LOL. Because around here, being videotaped is our biggest concern. Oh, jeez. Saw blades. What do you think this is? An obstacle course? That is just literally going through the floor. There's not even a gap there. It's just going through the floor. How delightful. Oh boy. I didn't even need to jump, really. He's not through this. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh. And yeah, he was sleeping all right. Eternally. Oh, that was a close one. Jeez. Talk about an obstacle course, huh? That's a lot of bureaucratic red tape, all right. It's gonna be stained red with my blood if I'm not careful. Jeez. What was with the pig over there? I don't think I wanna know. Gotta love how it even has a skeleton on it. Oh. He was asleep. <laughs> he was just a skeleton. He wasn't dead. Lol. Took me that long to actually pay attention. Or maybe he was dead when he came in. Oh, look at that! It's Doom. Blood. I mean, I'm sure these demons would rather be in somewhere like that, but no, this guy got stuck in a bureaucratic office instead. Such sad. Hello there, I'm in a quest to talk to the manager, I think. You have to have a protocol for that. Yeah, I know, and how can I get it? First, you have to show me your work here. Is that your badge? Yeah, I guess. Looks like you've gained a little weight since you took this picture. I... no? Well, it looks like everything's fine. I see you got the signature from Carl, too. Yeah, what do I have to do now? Well, you have to wait. I opened a protocol, and you must wait until someone forwarded it to the manager's office. And how long will it take? Well, there are currently 1.666.666 protocols ahead of yours, and currently one employee is taking care of them. Well, it looks like it will take forever, then. That's accurate. The computer says that your protocol will be seen anywhere between 1,600 and infinite years. And is there any way I can speed things up? Well, you can try to talk with Steve. He's the lone employee I mentioned. I'm not going to talk to him. Well, you can find him in his cubicle. I think he's in the West Wing. And in the Sector 9. Alright, I'll try to find him. 
Okay, I'll open for you. No legs, huh? You tell me where Steve is again? I think he's in the West Wing in the Sector 9. Okay. West is this way. Assuming that this is north. Listen, lovely. How oh, delightful. Oh, look. Solitaire. They do, uh, they are just repeating now. Although some of them have blue screens of death, which is kind of funny. What is with Windows XP? There's West. I'm sure I'll find him. West-3, I think it was. Where is he? He's down at his post. Oh, wait. Dash-9? Right, Sector-9. My bad. Why did I say three? Oh well. For a second there, I thought it looked like the Doom Slayer from a an angle. Minus seven or dash seven, I guess. There are a lot of dartboards. I guess people are getting really kill happy around here. You must be the guy. Hey, buddy. Hello, are you Steve? Yeah, good. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? In fact, no, my head hurts like hell today. Yeah, I think I could see that. Why don't you take a time off? Well, I've already taken all the breaks I could, and my shift ends in just 500 years. I think I can wait. Well, if you're so sure. Anyway, I need to speed up the protocol, so I I made to talk to the manager. Yeah, I'm not sure I can do that for you. You know, there are literally millions of protocols in front of you. Can't you do anything to speed things up? I told you I can't, and I have this huge headache now, too. I think things will be even slower. Why is this pain so intense? I have low blood sugar. If I work too much, my head starts to hurt and eventually catches on fire. How can I help you to ease it? Well, in fact, I need a time off, but there's too much work. But eating something sweet would also help. Hmm, I think I can find something for you. Just hold right there. I won't leave so early. I'm guessing that's just gonna keep going that way and I gotta go back this way. Maybe if I strafe run, I'll go there, I'll get there faster. I don't know if that's actually making me get there faster, but it feels faster. And hey, it's just cooler. Usually, uh, strafe run jumping, it helps. That's usually how I do it. At least to give myself the impression that I'm going fast. Gotta go fast. Let's see, um, two seconds. Yeah, it's just as fast either way, I think. Oh well. Something to break up the monotony. At least I think so. I think the whole point is that this is a bureaucracy, so of course everything looks the same. Isn't it delightful? Okay, I need to go to the second floor and uh, grab a donut. No problem. Just grab one of those donuts. Probably won't even be paying attention, probably be watching that show. Left, not right. I think the guy that was here went to the bathroom or something. I don't think he's gonna care if I just take this one. It looks delicious. See ya, buddy boy. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. This sugary goodness is mine. Or rather, it's Steve's. I just thought of something funny. If there was the an elevator version of At Doom's Gate and I just had to play throughout this entire video, I'm gonna see if I can find that. Of course, obviously, you'll know if I succeeded or not. That would be funny, though. Because that sounds like the perfect thing for this. Or at least for the elevator, but... I'm probably not gonna take the time to edit it in for just that spot. I mean, come on. That'd just be ridiculous. Doing it over all of it would make more sense anyway. There's barely any music here anyway. But then again, maybe being soulless is the whole point of it being a bureaucracy in hell. Excuse me. I'll take care of your burning head for you. I don't know if this will if it, this will work, but it's all I can find. Oh my devil, that's just what I wanted. I'm glad you liked it. You know what? I'm gonna help you. I'll look at the protocol you told me. Really? Thanks a lot, friend. Anything for you. I feel like I can work for a thousand years non-stop now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Don't worry about me now. Here's your protocol number. Well, that's nice. Now you can freely go and talk to the manager on the fifth floor. Good luck. Thanks. I see, um, your head is still on fire, though. 
But I'm gonna get that checked out. Or not. I mean, it's up to you. I'm just gonna jump through these cop copy pasted desks now. That even have the same arrangement on them. Kind of funny. The first one here is always a blue screen of death. Followed up by some kind of program. A little fire ex file explorer. Solitaire. Whatever that is. It's just all on repeat. And then of course that's some kind of website I think. Or a game. And of course there's the meta reference. Which is always kind of funny. Okay, time to get out of here. I wonder if there's actually anything on the other side. I'm gonna say probably not. I'm probably just gonna waste my time if I go over there. Which would be a damn shame. Well, let's go over here. Don't mind if I take some of your water. I can't. You can close that now. I'm uh, leaving I'm on my way out. I have to go to the fifth floor. And then I guess the manager will give me the key to the sixth floor, right? AKA Luce, Lucy. Luce, Luthor. Whatever his name is. Hell Inc. Excuse me. Aren't you the little limp that was going all around the place trying to get a chance to talk to me and the guy down there? Yeah. I'm just horsing around, kiddo. I'm very pleased to meet you. My name's Michael. I don't think we've been properly introduced. Well, my name is... Hey, I won't force you to tell me your name anyways. What brings you to hell with such a hurry to talk to the boss? In fact, I just need a signature in this document here. I see. And what is this mysterious document about? In fact, the matter is confidential. I'd like to speak directly to the devil about it. I understand. The matter is too important for me to handle. It's not that. I would just like to have the devil hearing about this firsthand. Okay, then. Let me show you something. This is my family. I love them more than anything in the world. You have a beautiful family. Thanks. I look at this picture almost every day, and sometimes I kind of feel I lost my purpose. If You know what I mean, right? I think I do. Yeah. I mean, I like hell, but I don't like it sometimes. I think I could be doing something better, you know? Better for your family? Better for everyone. For me, my family, everyone. I think I know what you mean. And I was waiting for some kind of sign on what to do about this feeling. I'm telling this to you because I'm 124th Mirai, and I think I inherited a little speck of pre precognition. Okay. And I think you're here for good, and that's the why I'm gonna sign that paper of yours. Well, that's awesome. And unexpected. I'd normally turn down your request, but I feel something different in you. I can assure you that you didn't make the wrong choice. I know I didn't. Now go. There's no time to lose. Show the signed documents to Nancy in the first floor, and she'll tell you what to do. Thanks a lot again. Okay, then. Thanks, pal. Thanks, old buddy, old pal. You're the best. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Okay. Guess we just gotta go see Nancy again. With that ghost line. That doesn't appear to actually exist. And it's in fact just the same three people copy pasted over and over again. That's the manager's signature? Well, let me admit, I didn't think you'd go this far. Yeah, I almost got literally killed. There are spinning saws in this building. Oh, the good and good and old maintenance floor. So many good naps. Anyway, since you actually got this far, there's nothing I can do but to let you see the devil. Finally, how can I do it? You have to use this key in the elevator. Nice, it's a beautiful key. Yeah, it's very pretty. Okay then, thank you, Nancy. Now I'm gonna make business with the devil. Good luck! Uh, thanks. Uh, you three copy pasta people, have fun. Hello, gargoyle. Nice musical chord. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen. The devil is a baby. Well, 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 if it isn't the one who went through hell to talk to me. Wow, so you are him. Yeah, I guess I am. I honestly thought you would be different. How so? Well, I thought you'd be a little older. Why? Well, I think it is common sense that the devil is an elder creature, and you look pretty young. Oh, I think we have a misunderstanding here. I'm not the devil. What? Yeah, in fact, I'm his son. I'm like the Antichrist or something, but you can call me Capita. Well, and who, where's your father? I have no idea. I think he's on a time off or something. And why did you agree? 
when I asked if you were him. Oh, because I'm technically the devil here, as in the CEO of this company. What? How? It's on the company terms that when my father is not here, I officially become the CEO. This is one of the strangest corporate terms I've ever heard about. Yeah, I know, but it works, I guess. So tell me something. When you become the CEO of hell, you actually have the same power as the devil, right? Yeah, that's about it. So can you sign this document if you want? Sure, give it here. Wait, did you just sign it without reading it first? Yeah, normally these documents are boring. I really don't care enough to read them. So I think I'll have to break the news for you then. You just passed the full ownership of hell to Mega, Mega Oil Co., of which I'm the representative. Wait, what? We've been trying for some time to speak with your father about your father about Hell's rich oil reserves, and he turned us down each every time. I actually came here to try to talk to him face to face. This document was nothing but a strategy to scare him into making some deal with us. But by signing it, you made it official, and now my company owns Hell. Well, I didn't know it. I want to unsign it. Unfortunately, you can't do that. By next Monday, this building won't exist anymore. No, give me this document. It was good making business with you, Mr. Capanna. <laughs> Oh, I went through bureaucratic hell. But now I'm the proud owner of hell, apparently. The oil extraction by Mega Oil Co. started soon after hell's buildings were demolished. After years of exploration, the lands of hell were turned into a parking lot. Well then. Yeah, I bet it's hell trying to find a place to park. All former employees of Hell Inc. received a very decent severance pay. Nancy, the secretary, used hers to start her own private underworld management company. In for Inc. Okay, good to know she's doing well for herself. Cool. Carl from Permits invested in the stock market. He made a lot of money and retired soon after that. He can be lazy all the time now. Cool. Nice music. Interesting, um, fate for everybody. There's Steve. Steve traveled the world. He eventually ended up in Antarctica, where he finally cooled his head for good. <laughs> That's good. He's a cool head now. He's a cool guy. And what about you? Mark left the corporate world. Now he lives off fishing. He never saw a protocol again. Interesting. And as for the Antichrist, or Steve, I guess, gotta worry about him too. Larry is still sleeping. Lol. Yeah, sure, he's sleeping. Wink, wink. Then again, he was always a skeleton, so you know. And what about you? Michael, the manager, had his life taking a turn. After Hell Inc. was dissolved, he started working as an angel in heaven, and now he has no doubts about his purpose. Cool. He got an upgrade. What about, uh, Kardec? After the day Hell was given away, no one saw the devil again, and his whereabouts are unknown. He's got nowhere to live now. He's roaming through the earth and going back and forth in it. Sorry, just making a reference there. Well, that was delightful. And that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the hell of an hell of bureaucracy, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day.